What's up YouTube? It's the Nihilator here and I'm so excited today because you're gonna go on a mini adventure with me. I'm heading from Tucson, Arizona to San Diego, California to get my palms tattooed, possibly my fingers, and um, yeah, so it's just gonna be a little mini adventure. I'm gonna go and drive to San Diego, get tattooed, and drive back hopefully tonight. I think I can make it. It's about a seven hour drive there, seven hours back, so 14 hours driving total of traffic's not total shit. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys there. Six and a half hours later. Made it to San Diego, right here in Waterfront Park. Um, this is the ocean, apparently. And uh, there's some seagulls behind me. This is like a six and a half, seven hour drive. I'm fucking tired. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to drive all the way back to Tucson tonight. I'm gonna attempt to, but worst case scenario, I might get a hotel on the way back. So I guess you'll find out, and uh, next time I see you guys, I will have my palms tattooed. Maybe my fingers too. Say peace out to the seagulls. All right, what's up guys? So I am back in Tucson, Arizona. I drove in last night from San Diego, about six and a half, seven hour drive. Actually, it was probably six and a half or eight, maybe even six because there's no traffic. I left the tattoo shop at 8.30 and uh, just, yeah, I just went straight back to Tucson because I did not want to stay at some random hotel or motel and spend more money when I didn't need to. Um, the palms are done, here they are. It, uh, it was pretty bad. It wasn't as bad as I originally thought it was gonna be. Um, we did this hand first with fingers and everything, and um, it, it sucked. But it wasn't like I was gonna I wasn't gonna tap out or anything. It just I knew it was gonna suck, and it did. And then I got this one second. There's more lines in this one. I'm sure you could see. And uh, this was, this is where, towards the end of this one, it really fucking hurt. I wasn't gonna tap, but I mean, it just like, I was flexing, like just trying to think about anything but the pain. Um, but yeah, this is game over. Got Ghastly, which is a Pokemon, and then Chestburster from the movie Alien. Um, tattoo artist is Mark Walker. He's out of San Diego at the Grand Reaper, which is a really awesome shop. They have amazing artists there. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna take uh, you guys along with the healing process. So I'll check in, um, I think once a week and show you the process. Hey, stop, I'm filming. I'll show you guys the process of uh, the healing. It's supposed to take a little bit longer than a normal tattoo, about six to eight weeks, opposed to like two to three weeks for any other tattoo in a normal area. Um, yeah, I love them. Mark Walker is an amazing fucking tattoo artist and cool dude. Had a good conversation with him. But uh, I'll see you guys later. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy the healing process. Hey, what's up, guys? So it has been one week since I've been tattooed. And here they are. Um, there's been barely any peeling whatsoever. Uh, the healing process is super slow compared to other tattoos I've found. Um, but there is a little bit of uh, raising in the ink, so it looks like it should start peeling pretty bad soon. Uh, but as far as from what I can see, everything's holding up really well. There, are, There's a very tiny spot, I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see it, like right here, where it looks like uh, basically there's a little bit of ink that fell out. But uh, overall, we're still waiting. It's a super slow process compared to normal tattoos. I'm using uh, Hustle Butter to, uh, I apply it about three times a day, usually. So like once in the morning after a shower, um, once my hands start drying out a little bit, I'll apply another uh, little tiny amount because it goes a long way and then uh, once before bed. But so here they are. Here's the one week update and I'll uh, check back with you guys later. Probably another week unless something else changes. Yeah, so it's week two. Usually a normal tattoo by this point would be healed, but these have just began to peel. So still got a little bit ways to go, probably about 
I'd say two to three more weeks, I would assume. Maybe three max. I'm assuming probably in two, it'll be completely settled in. But um, yeah, so week two update, looking good so far. And I will uh, check back in with you guys in another week. All right, what's up guys? So I kind of fucked up and I forgot to do a week three, but uh, really nothing changed from week two besides more peeling. So that's really all it was. So it's now week four and uh, majority of the peeling is done. Now there is still some spots. The only spots that are really peeling now are the ones where I had like really thick calluses from uh, working out. So like on both, of my palms where there's calluses, um, it's still peeling. A um, little bit on the finger calluses, but for the most part, majority of it is um, done peeling and is kind of just settling in. So it's not 100% uh, healed. I'm gonna assume another week, so probably week five. Uh, it should be completely done. There shouldn't be any skin peeling. So um, I think next week will be the last update as far as the tattoos go and they should be totally healed by them. And uh, I'll go ahead and uh, give you guys a up close view. And so yeah, as you can see, um, the ink's really in there. Like, it healed really, really well. Um, some areas, like Gasly's teeth kind of look like, I don't know if it's a blowout or what, but like the ink spread under my skin, but still looks good to me. And um, for the most part, it looks like everything is in there. So, super stoked, can't wait till they're 100% done. <laughs> Hey guys, so we have hit the end of our journey. It has been seven weeks since I got my palms tattooed. Everything is officially healed. And uh, as you can see, the tattoo is still in there. It's uh, really in there, it's not going anywhere. So I um, just wanted to reflect on uh, some things as well as show you guys how I healed these palm tattoos. That way if you are crazy enough to get your palm tattoos, you'll at least heal them right. Um, so with the healing process, first off, I wanna say the artist I went to is Mark Walker. Uh, he's an amazing artist. I went to him specifically for palm tattoos and it is because he obviously has a portfolio um, full of palm tattoos and he has plenty of tattoos that have healed great. And that's the reason I went to him. He knows what he's doing. Uh, whatever technique it is he uses works and the ink stays in the palm. Um, if you just go to your average tattoo artist that might have not uh, tattooed palms in the past or has only tattooed a few palms, uh, you probably wouldn't get these same results. Um, so I highly suggest uh, if you do decide to get this area tattooed, either go to Mark Walker because he knows what the fuck he's doing or just research your artist extensively or know in advance that if you go to any artist that hasn't done palm tattoos, um, have expectations that they might not hold like uh, what you see here. Um, but overall, it was a pretty awesome experience. Um, took about six weeks to heal. Uh, for the first three to four weeks, I used some Hustle Butter, just a tattoo ointment, a little bit thicker than normal white lotion. It's kind of like a uh, equivalent to Aquaphor, I guess, but it's made specifically for tattoos. I highly recommend it. There's other products out there as well, like, uh, fuck, can't think of them offhand. But anyways, um, so I used the um, Hustle Butter for the first three to four weeks. I applied it about three times a day and uh, tried to wash my hands as minimally as possible, not being gross, but also uh, obviously not just washing them at any uh, chance I could, I guess. Um, that makes me sound gross, I know. But anyways, um, 
So I would put uh, the hustle butter on once in the morning, about midway through after probably washing my hands twice uh, at that point, and then uh, once before bed. Um, you want to get a really small dime size and kind of apply it to different areas of your palm and then just rub it all in. You want a super thin layer, like you do not want to over apply this stuff. It's really easy to get carried away because um, it may not seem like uh, much when first getting out, uh, getting a little dime size out, but it goes a long way. Um, once the tattoo starts peeling and gets a little bit more rougher, um, I switched over to uh, normal white lotion. I use Lubriderm and um, it obviously worked well. Um, there's only very small, super small spot on each tattoo, I would say, that faded just a bit. Um, and these were mostly over calloused areas because I do work out. Um, I have calluses on my fingers and my hands, and those are the areas that had the roughest time to heal. Um, I mean, that was expected, so I knew that uh, going into it. But overall, everything's there, it's readable, and it's gonna be there for the rest of my life. So, um, if you guys have any questions or um, comments, just leave them in the comment section below. Again, the artist is Mark Walker. I'll uh, tag his Instagram in the description below. And if you guys have uh, any other uh, tattoo videos you guys want me to do, uh, just let me know. I plan to do a lot of random tattoo topic videos uh, just because I love tattoos and love to talk to people who also enjoy tattoos. And uh, don't forget to follow my socials. I got Twitter, Instagram, and uh, don't add me on Facebook. I have Twitter and Instagram. Uh, I'm most active on Instagram. I do a lot of video game stuff, so uh, catch me on Twitch as well. Um, thank you guys so much if you made it this far into the video. Love you. Peace.